It is a joyous reunion of some sorts as wives of retired military and police officers are joined by wives of serving officers in support of the leadership of the Defense and Police Officers Wives Association. Service chiefs and wives of former heads of state were also in attendance at the official unveiling of the book, The Journey of a Military Wife, written by the wife of the Chief of Defense Staff, Mrs. Victoria Irabo. Conversations here center on the challenges faced by military wives while their spouses are concerned with national security. You are both will be an inspiration to younger officers' wives. They will learn from your book. And I'll um, ask everyone here to purchase the book, make it go around, send it to schools. I believe that that book certainly will help us to be able to reshape some of our policy documents to the effect that we'll have better families, better children, and have got a better nation. The wife of the president is a special guest of honor, as she pays tributes to military wives, especially in the face of some very traumatic moments. Using her own personal experiences as a military wife to set guidelines and provide the necessary information to guide current and will-be spouses of the military officers. The story in, in this book clearly underscores the significance and relevance of women as an agent of stability, peace and development in the evolution of the state. Military wife, can we put our hands together? The book captures the experiences and sacrifices of military spouses. The military officers can hardly achieve success without their wives. Their wives are the ones who work behind the scene to ensure the success of the military officer. So because of death of material for the journey of military wives, I decided to undertake the challenge of writing a book on the military wife. The book is expected to serve as a reference guide for military families and for all Nigerians seeking information on the role and impact of military wives in national security.